Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Megan. I want to share a tip today that was very helpful for me in navigating the unknowns of chronic illness. Uh, this was especially helpful at the beginning stages of being diagnosed when I did not have a proper diagnosis. So this is especially for the person who is overwhelmed, frustrated, and does not know where to start. This would be my suggestion for you to help advocate for yourself and um, it might help you find answers if you do not have answers thus far. Uh, all right, so a little backstory. I'm going to be sharing my health logs every day for months I've been filling out a health log. I write down the little details of my day, the triggers, um, the intricacies, all of my symptoms, what symptoms I experienced that day. And why I did this was because a lot of doctors often didn't know what was wrong with me and didn't know how to help me. And so um, this was suggested for me to do so that one day hopefully I would be able to pick up on something that would help find me answers. Uh, so how I got this idea, um, this is a bit of a story for you guys. One day I was in a really bad flare and this was before I knew I had cranial cervical instability. It was before I even knew I had a structural problem to begin with. I thought that my problems were more hormonal or just neurological, not structural. Um, so I was having a really bad flare and my mom insisted on taking me to the emergency room. Um, there were a couple instances like this when things were getting really bad and we didn't know what else to do. Um, so we would just go to the emergency room and hope that maybe I would find some answers. On this particular day, I couldn't walk well and I had an extremely difficult time talking. Um, so they had to wheel me around and my mom had to do the advocating and talking for me. The ER doctor would try to talk to me and often I would just stare back at him and be unresponsive uh, because my brain was not operating normally. The ER doctor told me that clearly something was wrong but he could not help me. This is unfortunately something that has happened often. I've had a lot of doctors who say they're sorry, um, they don't know how to help me, but they can obviously see that uh, something is wrong. So he went on to tell me that I unfortunately was probably in the 1% or less category of rare medical conditions and complex diseases. Uh, he said the only thing he could suggest was that I start writing down everything I notice about my day, about my symptoms, about my triggers, about what I ate, um, and maybe one day one piece of information would lead me somewhere and help find me answers. Um, he told me that he would suggest this for her own, his own daughter if she was in the same boat. Um, like I've said, unfortunately, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you can understand uh, how difficult and frustrating it can be when you don't know what's wrong with you and doctors don't know what's wrong with you either. Um, I found that the medical world knows a lot, um, but there's also a lot we don't know yet. And I had never thought about that until I was one of those people. So. If you're overwhelmed and frustrated, this is where I would start. Um, this helped find me answers and it may help, help find you answers as well. Alright, so I am going to show you what I would do. I started out with just keeping a, a journal every day. I would write down what I ate, I would write down my symptoms from that day, I would write down if I exercised, what I exercised, and then I would write down anything I noticed that aggravated my symptoms, brought on my symptoms, um, or anything of that nature. Anything I could follow, I would write down. Um, I quickly realized that that was difficult and having that one simple task a day sometimes was too much to ask of me. That is the agony of having um, chronic illness that uh, is not diagnosed yet and having neurological deficits that make it difficult to advocate for yourself. So what I ended up doing that has been helpful was I made a blank intake form one day when I was feeling all right, and this made the process much easier. Um, it simplified it and consolidated everything in one place. Um, 
and something else that's been helpful with this is that another frustration for me has been when I go to doctors because I've had to see so many and they ask me they're starting from square one they ask me what's wrong with you um, what are your top three symptoms what is your medical history and that in and of itself is overwhelming um, because it's not brief so sometimes I would just send them a couple of my health logs and it did all of the explaining for me um, or it filled in the gaps where I maybe left important information out. Um, so I would suggest you do that if that would be helpful. Um, before I show you the intake form, another tip, because of my memory difficulties and the extreme fluctuations of my flares throughout the day and sometimes multiple flares, um, I forgot a lot of important details some days. Um, and so I started when I remembered something just texting it to myself and then at the end of the day I would go back and fill it all in and on those days I would look back and often forget um, some things that had happened and I wouldn't have written them down if I had not texted them to myself um, and I think just the accumulation of how many symptoms I was experiencing a day and all of the events that were happening on a normal day it was hard to write it all so um, this just simplified the process. Um, and then, last tip, I would, I started breaking it down and filling it out in the morning and then also filling it out at night because um, a lot went on in the night for me when I had insomnia. I uh, had would wake up multiple times and have symptoms, so I'd have to record those as well. Um, and if I waited till the end of the day, I often would forget what happened the night before or forget if it was the day before that it happened and etc. I'm sure you can uh, kind of get where I'm going. Um, all right, so this is my symptom journal intake, intake form. Um, if you want to copy it or do something similar. So I'm going to try to show you guys to the best of my ability. This is just what it looks like. Primarily, I'm going to flip it this way. This is on my iPad. Um, on the right here is just a list of my symptoms. And uh, at the top, I put the date. And then I would fill in the bubble next to the symptom if it occurred that day. And then over here is I created a bar. Um, and on this side, it says overall severity of symptoms less severe and then on the other side more severe and then I would put a tick mark every day depending on how severe my the day was overall um, you can also just do like a 1 to 10 or something like that um, and then these were yes or no questions so my, if I had my period or not because sometimes that would affect my symptoms if you're a female that might be helpful um, at the bottom if I wore my compression socks yes or no I crossed these out because they're no longer relevant to me, but they were questions like, did I have traction today? Was it helpful? Yes or no? Um, and then, I forget the other ones, but then right below that is a box that says today's exercise. Um, and if I was able to exercise that day, I wrote down what type of exercise I did, um, if it made me feel better or worse, at what point I felt better or worse. Um, anything I noticed while exercising, um, what specifically I did. And then b below that is just my food box, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. And I would fill out what I ate. Uh, I, through that process, figured out um, some things that I should not be eating because they were not helping me. And then last was the additional notes box and anything unusual that happened that day that was not um, in my symptoms that maybe was an unusual symptom, I would write down in that box. So that's basically what I did. It was very helpful and continues to be. Um, and then last thing I want to say, I am willing to send you my intake form. If that would be helpful and you're overwhelmed and don't know where to start, email me. I can send you my blank intake form. You can either fill it out electronically on your own if you have a device to do that. If not, 
um, you can print out the PDF in bulk and just fill it out um, manually. Uh, and it, even more so, I know how frustrating it can be, so uh, if you would like me to, um, I can make it custom to you and just fill in your symptoms. It um, would be pretty easy for me. So I'd be glad to help if I can. That is all for today, guys. I hope this is helpful. And if you're at the beginning stage of your journey, um, I, I just hope that you stick out the good fight and that this helps you to advocate and gives you some confidence in the journey. All right.